Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of a food haul that I've just picked up with Gabriel. We actually ended up going to Whole Foods first and then he stopped at Metro to pick up some other stuff that Whole Foods is just a lot more expensive for the same stuff. So because I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time and I did find a couple new things that are vegan and a lot of gluten free stuff so definitely wanted to share. If you hear my chair rocking back and forth I rolled my ankle this morning. I haven't been in the greatest mood. So I figured I would just stand, have my knee resting on here. But of course now the chair is making a lot of noise. All right, so we're just gonna go right in. The first one are these pierogies that I've talked about on here a couple of times actually. These ones do have wheat, but Gabriel still loves them. I'll have bites of wheat every now and then but I do actually end up seeing it on my face like this little bump right here. I was gonna do a skincare video today as well, but it's just not happening. If I don't have good skin, I don't wanna talk about the products that are working incredibly well for me when I eat wheat and then have little critters on my face like this. This pierogi brand does have a mushroom with onion that's really, really good, like caramelized onion. Gabriel is really picky with onions and mushrooms, so he ended up getting himself the roasted garlic and herbs, which is still really good. I probably will break out even more because I will have some of that. Um, I picked up some cauliflower because I want to make like a um, sweet and sour cauliflower thing on rice with some veggies. I saw it on Pinterest and definitely want to try it out. We also picked up some roasted garlic and onion hummus. I started making my own at home, but we've been really busy assembling furniture. We've just been not renovating, but finally making our home look like a home. I'm not sure if you guys have seen my other I think it was a what I eat in a day video where I showed the shelves that we put up. Um, I was renovating the washroom at that time. I still have some things that I need to add in there. I'll show you guys in a little bit in case you're curious and want to check that out. Next, we got the lentil pasta. I really like this stuff. It's really high on protein. I know a lot of people think that protein has to be chicken, meat, and things like that, but honestly, everything has protein. So this one is from Gogo Go Quinoa. I really like this brand. It's organic, plant-based, corn-free, in case you guys need to eat corn-free. This is a good one, um, and of course, gluten-free. For the most part, Gabriel's pretty good at eating gluten-free pasta. We've been eating a lot of quinoa pasta, rice pasta, things like that, and he actually doesn't mind it. I had to pick up some salt. This is the Himalayan pink sea salt that I usually get. Um, I've been using pink sea salt for maybe the past I don't know, I want to say eight, 10 years now. And this is now my third pack. So it lasts us a very long time. We don't use a lot of salt, but when we do, that's our go-to. And this is from the brand Luminaire de Sal. It's natural, unrefined, without additives. And I like the packaging because it's very eco-friendly. It's just cardboard, so you can definitely recycle that. We were also really low on oregano. I don't know if you guys saw on my Instagram stories, Gabriel, I asked him for dry oregano and he actually got me like the plant, which is fine. I still ended up using it, but I need some dry oregano. All right, so that's the first bag. There's a lot to go through. The second bag is pretty much our veggies. I found celery stalks there or bunch, whatever you want to call it. Apparently at different places of the world, you call it, it's got a different name. I call it a stock. Oh, it smells so good and fresh. I usually do have to go to Whole Foods to pick these up if I want it without the plastic packaging. I can't stand when things have plastic packaging when they just don't need to. Unfortunately, the cauliflower, I haven't seen it without the plastic, so I just go ahead and pick that one up. But I do try to be very aware of things like that. So far, Whole Foods is the only one where I've seen it like that. I think they were at $3, which is a lot better than the 4 or $5 it was at some point last year. It was insane. Is this? No, this is not romaine. It's just lettuce. They also had kale on sale. So two bunches for five, all falling apart. But I figured I can make a really good salad, kind of like a spring mix. And again, the spring mix comes in a plastic container. And again, if I can do it without the plastic, then I will. Those really drive me crazy. So I'd rather just get it like that and then just create my own little spring mix with whatever I want to add on it. I forget what the name of this is, but it's crunchy and I like to add it on. Just another 
green. They had poblano peppers, which is sometimes hard to find here, but I really like making sauces and stuff like that. Now, the reason why I'm really big on making salads is because I'm salad obsessed this summer. Here, let me show you one sec. All right, so I'm not sponsored by Prana, but Prana did send me this like granola mix. It's a so uh, salad topper. It's really good. It's something that they just came out with. It's gluten-free and it's pretty much just clusters like this of like a bunch of seeds together, like sunflower seeds, cranberries, sesame seeds, pumpkin seeds, dried yeast with vinegar. So it's definitely more on the savory side. I really am obsessed with this. I'm so glad that they sent it over. But yeah, it's their new salad topper and I love it. I've been eating it with everything. It's so good, just like handfuls. Um, Gabriel also wanted to pick up these rice ramen. Um, I think we've tried these before. I'm not quite sure. I don't really remember. But he really wanted to pick these up just for like a quick thing for when we are really busy like we have been lately. We actually ended up finding some graham crackers. It's really hard to find vegan, gluten-free, like without honey. So really happy we found these because we did go camping this past week. I had my chocolate. I had my dandies marshmallows. But I didn't have my graham crackers. So... We're supposed to be going camping in about another two weeks, so I'm really happy about that. Then we picked up some chai tea. I love this chai tea. It's from Stash Organic, and they have 18 tea bags in here. I bought the Tasso chai latte thing that comes, or like the chai tea, and the last time I went to go pour myself a glass, I noticed that it had honey on it, and I was like, shoot. I'm usually really careful about reading the ingredients, but sometimes you get so... I don't know, I'm just carried away. So that was a sucky decision. And it's just been sitting there because I don't really want to drink it now that I know it has honey. So I guess I'm gonna have to start making my own, which is fine. I'll just make my regular hot tea and then pour it over ice cubes, add some milk and stuff. I also found some oyster mushrooms, which I'm really happy about. They're very hard to find. And anytime I go to a vegan restaurant and they have like calamari, anything like that, that's obviously plant-based, it's made with oyster mushrooms. I'm going to try making something at home. I'm not quite sure what yet, but I swear it tastes like seafood. I guess it, it all depends on how you season things, but really good stuff. We also ended up getting this chickpea pasta. I've had this before, but I really wanted to get like the shell ones. I don't even know if that's what these ones are called. Oh yeah, the organic shell pasta. I had to get a light on here, so sorry if it glares too much because it's a little darker outside today, not too much sun. But this is a really good brand. Again, it's made from chickpeas. It's vegan, gluten-free, all the good stuff. What else did we get? Some coconut milk because I want to make some curry. Oh, and then we found Le Grant. This company is really good. It's from Montreal. This is the pesto, spicy olive, and jalapeno sun-dried tomato. They do have one that isn't spicy if you're someone that doesn't eat spicy. But I really like this. There's so many different ways to use them, whether it's on a rice cracker with like your vegan cheese and then you want a little bit of extra something on it. You can use like a gallop of this and this little baggie makes it really easy to use. I also like putting it in my soup. Oh my god, it's so good and it's so well seasoned and everything that the flavors are just amazing. Now for the best thing that we've gotten so far, my mouth is watering, croissants, vegan croissants. They're not gluten free. But I found vegan croissants at Whole Foods. Gabriel always walks by to the bakery side because they do have more and more vegan cakes and options there. I, however, had no idea that they had croissants. It had been a while since we've been there, so we saw the vegan croissants. They were single packaged with so much plastic on it. Those were like two something. And these are a box of four, I believe, and they were $8. So really excited about these. We ended up getting two boxes because my dad's here. At least that was Gabriel's excuse. I'm pretty sure he's going to go through a whole box himself, which is fine because then the other box is mine. To bag number four, we have spinach, again, so that I can make my spring mix salad. We also found these vegan Jamaican patties, which I've had before at one of the vegan events that they have here in Toronto. We're so lucky. Throughout the whole year, whether it's summer or winter, they always have an event going on. And this is from the company Choose Life. They're really good. They're a little bit pricey. I'm not sure why Gabriel got me the mild and not spicy, but I'm still gonna enjoy this one, which is a really good snack. Some sour cream from Tofuti. 
I've said this on here before, this is the best one in my personal opinion. We got some tofu, cause tofu is always good for like scrambled tofu. In the morning, Gabriel got himself some unchicken nuggets from Ives or Eves. This does have wheat, so I'll probably opt out of that. I try not to do too much processed food except for the croissants because, well, you saw how excited I was. This is mango. Ooh, dried up mango. This has my name written all over it. If I see mangoes, pineapples, passion fruit, anything a little bit more tropical, I'm all about it. I picked up another can of jackfruit because again, this is my favorite jackfruit. It's really easy to use. If you're gonna be using it to make tacos and things like that, I suggest you get the young jackfruit because that one still doesn't have that sweetness flavor because that's gonna be really hard to season and overpower that sweetness to make tacos. So unless you're using it for a dessert, go with the young jackfruit. Here is some apple cider vinegar. I was hoping I would find some vegan gluten-free sourdough bread, but I didn't. We're also a little low on the apple cider, but I'm gonna try to make some gluten-free bread. And I think I forgot the yeast. I might have some. So pay attention to my Instagram stories because I'll probably post that on there. If it doesn't come out good, then I probably won't. <laughs> Um, we also picked up some Parmesan that's dairy-free. This is from Earth Island. I think I've tried this out at a restaurant before. It was really good. I've never bought in it for the house, but again, because I'm trying to make a lot of salads this week, I figured why not add another little extra flavor on top of the prana stuff. So this one is vegan, soy-free, casein-free, gluten-free. I'm just not used to eating Parmesan anymore. It's such a strange thing. I used to not be able to live without it. And then once you go vegan, you realize there's so many other flavors in life. We picked up some gluten-free bread. It's from the Little Northern Bakehouse. You guys know I used to be all about Silver Hill Farms or something like that. I can't even remember what that brand was called. We used to be all about that brand. Gabriel actually still gets it, but I try to be gluten-free and mostly everything. It's just in this past week that I've had a little bit of gluten. And like I mentioned before, you could definitely see it on my skin. That was it for Whole Foods, but Gabriel did stop by Metro to pick up some of the other stuff because again, like even with Earth's own, although they have it at Whole Foods, sometimes some things are a little bit more pricier. So we stopped by at Metro and picked up Earth's own oat gluten-free. Oh, look at that. He got himself some little Netflix and chill. Of course, this is the dairy-free one. However, this does have gluten, so I try to stay away completely from Ben & Jerry's. I hope that at some point they start making something that's gluten-free because from what I've noticed, from everything that I've picked up, they all have wheat. Um, we've also, oh, Gabriel noticed that I really like the hash browns. They're just like a smaller pack of hash browns. They have a bigger one too, but I try not to eat too much of these because they are oily. These again are quick on the run. I heat up the oven while I'm doing my hair, throw them in there. And then when it's time to go to work, I just have them as like a quick snack on the way for like a breakfast thing. Really good and easy to make. Then he picked up some bananas, some avocados. So definitely going to be making some tacos. And I think that might be it. Yeah, that's everything for today. It honestly makes me so happy to see this much food that we're able to purchase. There was a time where I struggled really, really bad. And just to see like this, like I'm getting goosebumps, just to see this amount of food and then I'm able to afford it, like appreciate what you have. And my family's here. But yeah, oh, I tried to get on my other lights so that I can actually walk with you guys to show you uh, what we've been assembling, our bed, the mattress that we got, but I might have to do that in a separate video anyways. Maybe I'll start a whole new series about home decor and just furniture that I've purchased. I just can't walk with you guys throughout the house with this foot. It hurts real bad. It just happened today, so today and tomorrow is probably going to be the worst, and then I'll get a little better. But I do have to lay down and elevate it for a bit. And yeah, I think that's it. If you guys want to see any cooking videos or another what I eat in a day, please let me know down below. I know some of you guys like them. Others prefer to watch more of the fashion videos, styling home decor, things like that. Hope that you guys enjoyed this. Videos come out for every Thursday, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Don't forget to give me a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys at the next one. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Take care, bye.